Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. James chapter 4, beginning in verse number 1. From where come wars and fightings among you? Whom they not hear, even of your lust, that war in your members? members. The surface reasons for wars and quarrels can be just about anything. But the real underlying reason for wars and quarrels is spiritual. The real cause of quarrels and wars are people demanding their own way. When the goal is to get what we want, there will be arguing, jealousy, quarrels, war. And I'm not saying that bad people and countries do not need to be opposed. They do. And so do unbiblical teachings. However, if people did things God's way, there wouldn't be a need to oppose anything. If people did things God's way, there would never be any war or disharmony, whether in families or between nations, if people did things God's way. When there are disagreements, and that would be inevitable because people have differences of opinions, but when there are disagreements, they would be handled in a godly, agreeable way. That's why it's not right when people get upset with God because there are wars and strife. It's not God's fault that people don't follow his instructions and don't get along. Don't blame him. And so it says, from where come wars and fightings among you? Come they not here even of your lusts that war in your members? Ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Instead of arguing and fighting and committing other sins to try to get what we want, we should ask God if we can have it. We should ask God for what we want and let him decide if that's what he wants. And once God decides, then our business is to be content with his decision, whether it's our first choice or not. If people trusted in the good sense of God, there wouldn't be so much arguing and fighting over things. Two again, ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain, ye fight and war, yet ye have not because ye ask not. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lust. Those who think that God exists simply to grant their wishes or jump when they say jump have it all wrong. Those who get angry at God because he doesn't give them what they want have things completely backwards. The world doesn't revolve around us or our wishes. Where in the world did people get that idea? This world was made by God, and according to Colossians, for God. That's what the Bible teaches. We exist to please Him. Consequently, when we ask for things that are pleasing to Him, we will get them. When we ask for things that He doesn't want to give us, For his own good reasons, we're not going to get them, and we need to learn to be content with his answers and trust the fact that he's smarter than we are. Study all of the Bible with me verse by verse at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible. If you would like to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture verse by verse, then pray for me and pray for God's Word. That makes you an important, immediate part of this ministry. Also, when you take a break from studying at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Until next time, Michael Moret for Scripture verse by verse. So long, everyone.